Hello, and welcome to the History of the Catapult in Two Minutes or Less by me, Aaron Lightfoot. The earliest recorded versions of catapults date back to the ancient Greeks. The Greeks gave us important people in history like these dudes and this dude. But in 399 BC, Diodorus Siculus, a historian, recorded one of these early catapults. Obviously, this one looks quite a bit different than what you may think of as a catapult, but it had the same basic function, throw things. These early catapults looked similar to large crossbows and had pulleys to pull the projectiles back. Let's fast forward a couple years to the Romans. In 350 BC, during the reign of Philip II, there were records of a different type of catapult being developed. This type of catapult, more specifically a torsion catapult, had an arm connected to the base. As you can see, this is starting to look a little bit more familiar. Catapults were a fairly prominent military necessity up until about the medieval times, where they were largely replaced by this thing, a trebuchet, which had the same general function as a catapult, throwing things. Hundreds of years later, though, man was still using the concepts of early catapults in their military technology. In the days of tanks and artillery, our little catapult was still being used to chuck grenades across no man's land. Eventually, they were pretty much 100% replaced by mortars and artillery. Today, it seems safe to say, as far as modern use goes, rest in peace, catapult, you served us well.